Denton. We are one of the fastest growing cities in the country, the seventh fastest growing city last year in the country, Denton. If you don't have in the heart of your mix as a community, art, music, you know, the talent that we have here and keep it here and nurture it here, then you become just a place where you live. My name is Brad Strauss. I'm one of the five owners of Denton Square Donuts, uh, myself and my family. We've owned the shop since May, May 1st of 2012. And why did you decide to go into donut making? Uh, actually, my daughter did. She used to study here between classes and really enjoyed the place. And um, One day she noticed on Facebook that it was up for sale. And so when I saw it was for sale, I was like, no way. And, uh... <laughs> I called my mom and I was like, hey, Denton Square Donuts is for sale. And she was like, her train of thought was, oh no, that shop's going to go down and I don't want it to. And I was like, let's do this. <laughs> and, and I actually, I emailed them and I told them, I was like, hey, me and my brothers want to buy this. And I actually had to talk to my brothers <laughs> when I told them. <laughs> and so my brothers came home. And I told them, I was like, hey, so do y'all want to buy Denton Square Donuts with me? And they told me to shut up because <laughs> they thought I was lying to them or being stupid. It happened in like the span of a week, the whole transition. And it was also during finals. So it was. But then on the flip side, like today, I get to come in and work with my daughter for a couple hours, uh, work with the, the boys frequently, my wife. Um, so there are times where we get to just hang out together too and, and um, that part's pretty neat. I think probably because we all know each other so well, <laughs> we don't have boundaries. <laughs> you know, if that makes sense. But it really is, it's a lot of fun um, working with them. Sometimes, you know, we have our little <laughs> issues. It's funny though. And I burn them. That's what they look like when you burn them. <laughs> Well, at least you get to see me remake some donuts. Ten twenty eight, right? Since it's been starting to become a place where everyone wants to go, we get to meet so many people. Uh, this is my second time today. I've always liked just kind of like the unique independent businesses that do things their own weird way. And Denton Square Donuts definitely has their own unique twist on how they do things. Yeah, I come here every time I'm in town. I'm actually a student at Southwestern University right now. Yay, donuts! Thank you. I really like the Samoan one and then the bacon maple. I can't resist either, so. These are really warm, so they're super fresh. Sure. Just so y'all know. Oh, the good things and the bad things. Gosh. I would say, since we're like right off the square, um, and that's one of the things that this street's working on, is trying to get people um, to not just circle around that actual square around the courthouse, um, and we're trying to get them to come down here. And um, so I would say that since we're just like right off of it, we miss so much foot traffic. Excuse me. Me and my parents, we still have other jobs. <laughs> but that's okay. We're getting so close to making a profit. <laughs> it 
it'll be worth it. It'll all be worth it one day, hopefully. <laughs> I think it will be though. And I've always done art. I started out doing stained glass, but now I've really enjoyed painting and doing all different kinds of mixed media and clay. And I like to dabble in everything. I used to be a teacher, a science teacher. I taught science here in Denton and worked for the school district. And then I was a diagnostician and I decided to retire and do something different just because I have always loved the arts. When I came here and saw this building for rent, I thought maybe I should rent it and do something with it. So I opened a gallery and an art studio. We do classes here. We have openings here. We celebrate first Friday of every month. And we have musicians come in and play. And we have artists doing demonstrations. And just try to have fun with life. And that's what I want to do is just have fun with life and art. I opened this gallery in 2009 and I think shortly after that is when the whole economy kind of crashed. And so to make a living doing your art is hard, but to make your living doing art in a bad economy is even more difficult. Um, the thing that is helpful is that the square has seemed to gotten a revitalization. The good thing about having a gallery is that you have an opportunity to help artists sell their work because it's hard to live off of your art. People don't always know that I'm here because I'm not located on the square, I'm just off the square. And a lot of people who visit Denton, they stay on the direct square around the courthouse. But there's more and more businesses that are being established off the square. The thing I usually hear is that, oh, we didn't know you were here. Oh, this is such a cool place. Oh, I really like this block. 70 different artists that have their work in here. And so this gives them a venue to show their earth, what their work, and people can purchase it. I've kind of stepped back from running the place and letting it kind of develop into what it's supposed to be. And that's hard to do because sometimes you want to maybe control certain aspects. And not that I don't have control on it, but this place is developing into what it wants to be. And I like being a service for the community. And I feel like it does that also. Basically, I've tried to get people to come into the store just by having a beautiful place. And I can tell you that most people, once they come in the store, they usually, if they don't say it right when they enter, but when they leave, it feels so good in here. Because I feel like all the art has energy and it creates a really good energy here in the store. And uh, it's just a good space. I love being here and I think people are drawn to being here also. Um, just the city working together and shops coming together and just trying to make the Denton Square a popular place to go. Um, all walks of life, all types of art. This side of the square people are leaving and the other parts of the square have a little bit more activity than, than this side. I'm Stephen, Stephen Johnson, and Ellen, Bob, and I decided to acquire this bistro banter a couple of years ago, because we enjoyed coming here, we enjoyed the music, really liked the food, but for me it's the music, the music makes it. Oh, almost two years since we bought the place. I guess you could say that. I think it bought us, but 
I think of it as the employee's business and I just work for them. That's how I like to look at it. I love the customers. We have students that come from TWU and UNT. They come hang out during the day and study. They better be studying. Anyway, we have a lot of the folks in Denton that have been here for quite a while come. It usually depends on what music's playing on the nights we have music. Our customers? I come to Banter because um, it's like a coffee shop without being a coffee shop. Actually, every time my friends ask, where do you want to go eat for lunch, I'll, I'll say Banter. Because of that Pete's Peak Panini, it's seriously, it's good. Very intelligent and very musically oriented. So many come here for the music. Many come here for the food because we have several vegan dishes, we have several vegetarian, so they like the food as well. We got coffee, really good coffee, espresso, whatever. Wine, we have a number of really good wines. And so our customers come here for, I think, the just overall ambiance of banter. It's a nice place to be during the day. A lot of students come. It's a nice place to be at night, especially on music nights, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And uh, for me, it's the music. It's the music that makes it for me. Off the square. <laughs> well, for one thing, we're not square. We're very hip here at Banter, and really this part of Oak Street, west of the square. There's Robin Hutash in the Creative Art Studio. There's How Unique, which has some very cool stuff. There's the Lab Sports Bar, Sue's Alterations. Scraps, our local recycle, re reuse shop. Denton Square Donuts, do not forget. They also are not square. Well, their donuts are square, but 